felt like I was in NSYNC then. Yeah. Check, check. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ben. I'm a photographer and videographer based in North Wales. A couple of quick disclaimers before I start this video. One, I am not an audio engineer by any stretch of the imagination. The most that I usually do to the audio on these videos is add some music and adjust levels. Maybe add a compressor onto the track. That's about it. Second, I was sent this very microphone, the Deity VMic D3 Pro from Deity themselves. They've not paid me at all. I do get to keep the microphone, but this is a completely unbiased review. It's not a product showcase, and for good measure, I will be comparing it to the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, which has been my daily driver microphone for the last year and a half, two years. So this should be a pretty good, fair, unbiased opinion. It is warm in here. Okay, so as you might have guessed by now, this video is all about the Deity VMic D3 Pro. It's a hot shoe mountable shotgun microphone for any mirrorless DSLR camera or any camera you can plug a jack into really. Quickly in the box, the whole thing comes in this pretty nice little, is it neoprene I think? Neoprene case, which zips open. It's a nice molded insert to fit in the microphone perfectly as well as any little bits, accessories. Included in the kit, you get a nice yellow splash of TRRS cable as opposed to the standard TRS cable which you get with most microphones including the Rode Videomic Pro Plus. We also get a charging cable which is a USB type C cable. In my opinion absolutely everything by now 2021 should be USB type C. It charges super quick you just plug it in it starts flashing red and green and in no time it seems to be charged. I've not once run out of battery on this and I've been using it for pretty much every video on this channel where I've been here in the office. It comes with a foam cover as standard as well as one of my favourite things, one of these tiny little quarter inch to three eighth inch thread adapters. This is actually my third attempt at making this video and one of those attempts failed because I didn't have enough of these adapters. <laughs> so I'm very glad they include it with this microphone. So a few quick features. This is a shotgun microphone, as I say. So it is a very directional microphone. I've got it mounted right now, facing pretty much to my chest so that anything right by there is picked up really nice and loudly. If I move away out of the path, you'll notice that my voice gets quieter and quieter as I move around. In theory. Like I say, you get a nice little foam cover included with the microphone. This can help with a little bit of wind noise and some of the plosives in your voice. It can sort of take the intensity out of those at times. But if you're in a really windy situation, you will need to get a dead cat or something similar. So one of my favourite things about this microphone so far is actually the suspension mount. I love using it, not only for the Deity mic, but also my pretty big Rode NTG 4 Plus. This is a much more expensive microphone. I can hear something rattling in there. I did drop it last week. But it can take the weight of this microphone absolutely fine. It deals with it, no problem. Which means that for this microphone, it is plenty sturdy enough. And just like the Videomic Pro Plus or the Video Micro, most microphones these days, it just takes those little knocks out of the camera. It's completely suspended, so it's not affected by those handling noises. Key features of the microphone itself, we have a stepless gain knob right on the back. That means we can turn it all the way from zero up to 10 to adjust our gain on the fly while we're shooting. Comparing this to the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, I found that zero on the Deity is pretty much spot on compared to the Rode's minus 10 value. I found that the plus 20 decibel on the Rode is nearly spot on to 10 on the Deity. And I found that around 
the free mark on the deity is pretty much equivalent to the Rhodes zero decibel. So we have pretty much the same range being covered. We also have a 75 Hertz and 150 Hertz low pass filter on the deity, exactly the same as the Rode. Remember that I mentioned you get a TRRS cable with this camera. That means that we have three rings on the jack rather than the normal two. This means you can plug this into absolutely anything and it'll just pick up the signal. This means it'll work with standard cameras such as the A7R4 I'm recording on now. You can plug it straight into a laptop such as the MacBook and you can even plug it straight into your phone assuming that your phone has an audio jack. This microphone also switches on and off with your camera. Unlike the Rode microphone, you do have to switch it on initially, which puts it into a standby mode, I suppose. But then once you switch the camera on, it'll boot up immediately and it's ready to record. In comparison with the Rode plugged into the camera, it can be switched off completely. And as soon as you switch the camera on, it will get that power signal and it will boot up. One handy thing power wise, which the Deity has, which I don't believe the Rode has, is it'll tell you when the battery is getting low. I'm the kind of person who, as soon as I get home from shooting, I put everything on charge immediately. It's the first thing that I do. So for me, it's not necessarily a really important thing because I always have everything charged. But for those who are out on trips, maybe you're off for a week shooting every day and you don't necessarily have time to be charging every night, it is handy that you get a reminder and if need be, you can just plug it into a power bank between shoots and you're sorted. And uh, yeah, I don't know how much more I can say really. So the only real way that you can tell the difference between these two microphones is through recording. So what I'll do now is both here in the office, I'll do a couple of audio tests. I'll leave all the settings on the camera exactly the same. And then as I'm changing settings on the microphones, I'll actually say so in the test. And then I will take them outside as well to get a sort of ambient effect, I don't know. And then after that, we'll start talking comparisons and prices, accessories, all that sort of jazz. So yeah, let's get to the tests. Check, check, test, test. This is the Deity VMic D3 Pro at level three on the gain and no added effects. Check, check, test, test. This is the Deity VMic D3 Pro with the gain level set to zero. Check, check, test, test. This is the Deity VMic D3 Pro with the gain level set to 10. Check, check, test, test. This is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus with the gain set to zero. Check, check, test, test. This is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus with the gain set to minus 10 decibels. Check, check, test, test. This is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus with the gain set to plus 20 decibels. Check, check, test, test. This is the Deity VMic D3 Pro without the high pass filter. Check, check, test, test. This is the Deity VMic D3 Pro with the high pass filter set to 75 Hertz. Check, check, test, test. This is the Deity VMic D3 Pro with the high pass filter set to 150 Hertz. Check, check, test, test. This is the Deity VMic D3 Pro without the high pass filter. Check, check, test, test. This is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus with the high pass filter set to zero. Check, check, test, test. This is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus with the high pass filter set to 75 Hertz. Check, check, test, test. This is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus with the high pass filter set to 150 Hertz. Check, check, test, test. This is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus with the high pass filter set to zero. Really? Check, check, test, test. This is the Deity VMic D3 Pro using just the foam shield at the same volume of three out of 10.
check check test test this is the deity v mic d3 pro using a fur windshield check check test test this is the rode vigimic pro plus using the standard foam shield Check, check, test, test. This is the Rode Vigimic Pro Plus using the official Rode dead cat. Check, check, test, test. This is the Deity Vmic D3 Pro using the fur windshield and no high pass filter. Check, check, test, test. This is Deity Vmic D3 Pro using the fur windshield and the high pass filter at 75 hertz check check test test this is the deity vmic d3 pro using the fur windshield and the high pass filter at 150 hertz check check test test this is the deity vmic d3 pro using the fur windshield and no high pass filter check check test test this is the rode vigimic pro plus using the official rode dead cap and no high pass filter check check test test this is the rode video mic pro plus with the official rode dead cap and the high pass filter at 75 hertz check check test test this is the rode video mic pro plus using the official rode dead cap and the high pass filter at 150 hertz check check test test this is the Rode Vigimic Pro Plus using the official Rode dead cap and no high pass filter. Okay, so there we go. That's our audio tests. It is the next day in case you can't tell. So overall, I am very impressed with this microphone. Like I said at the start of this video, I am not an audio engineer. I don't know that much about microphones, but for this sort of thing, where I just want to have it on top of my camera, hit record and it works. It does the job perfectly. I do need to get a dead cat for it. In these tests, I was just using this one from Movo. This is what I use for the Entry G4 Plus. The issue is that Deity don't actually make one specifically for this microphone. Um, their rep did actually send me a link to one that they recommend as a manufacturer but they were US links and I could not find it for the life of me here in the UK. But I've noticed on Amazon, just searching for the microphone, that there are a lot of people selling the microphone with a dead cap. So I'll leave a link to one of those ones in the description down below. In terms of prices, you can pick up the VMic D3 Pro for around 200 pound here in the UK. And very often that is including a dead cap wind protector. The Rode VideoMic Pro Plus on the other hand, you can pick that up for around £230 and then the dead cat costs another £30-£40 on top of that. Now these prices on the Rode microphone seem to have actually gone down recently. I'm sure when I bought mine I had to pay around £260 for the microphone and then another £60 just for the dead cat. So they do seem to have dropped in price but still, the newer Deity microphone is still cheaper. Either way, I'll leave links to both of them in the description down below, as well as this dead cap that I've been using, even though I wouldn't strictly recommend it for this microphone, but I'll pop it in there just in case. Now, there was one weird thing that I discovered in my testing with this microphone, and it's one of the reasons that one of my previous attempts at making this video was a failure. So fairly recently I picked up the Rode Wireless Go 2 and the snazzy Amazon case for it. So this is perfect for stuff like talking head interviews especially outside that's what I bought it for really. I was thinking that I'd be able to do an actual side-by-side -side comparison of these two microphones plugging one of them into each of the transmitters, both going into the receiver and setting them as dual mono channels. 
that means that I'd be able to separate them in post. And especially working outside, rather than shooting with one microphone and it's really windy, and then switching microphones and suddenly the wind dies away, I would be shooting at exactly the same time with both microphones and I'd be able to show them side by side. The issue was that when I got that footage back home, I'd filmed the whole video and I got the footage back home I was reviewing it and from the deity microphone I could hear this high-pitched whining sound throughout the whole track from start to finish. So I did a few more tests which I'll run in a second. So testing with just the deity microphone and the original wireless go I had no issue at all. Check check testing testing. This is the deity vmic d3 pro plugged in using the TRRS cable and the original Rode Wireless Go. And running it through the Wireless Go 2 with just one transmitter working, I had no issue. Check, check, test, test. This is the Deity VMIC D3 Pro plugged into the Rode Wireless Go 2 using the Deity TRRS cable. But as soon as I switched on the second transmitter from the Deity microphone, using either the included TRRS cable or one of the Rode TRS cables, I was still getting that high pitch frequency in that track, but not on the other track. It's just coming from the Deity microphone. Check, check, testing, testing. This is the Deity VMIC D3 Pro plugged into the Rode Wireless Go 2 using a Rode TRS cable. This is in joint mono mode with the other Wireless Go 2 unit as a lav mic. So yeah, I'm gonna give you some silence so you can listen to each microphone individually. So here is the Rode Videomic Pro Plus. And here is the Deity VMIC D3 Pro. Why that is, I have no idea. If there's some sort of interference between the two transmitters and this microphone specifically, I have no clue. If that is the case, then that is a weird one because it wasn't doing it for the other microphone. So why that is, I have no idea. And to be fair, I can't really think of many instances when anyone else would actually be trying to run that setup. I will be doing a video soon about a audio setup for a gimbal in terms of vlogging or filming others where I'll be using the Wireless Go 2 and demonstrating how you can use it effectively to get far better audio for that sort of video. But anyway, I love this microphone. I think personally, it's probably just gonna stay in this position. I'm probably gonna use it more often than not over the VideoMic Pro Plus and the Enter G4 Plus. It's a fantastic microphone. And for this sort of video, talking to camera in the office, it's been flawless. I cannot fault it at all. As part of my work, I'm primarily a wedding photographer and videographer. Not that I've shot many weddings over the last year, but I have been doing a lot of Zoom calls and Teams calls and video calls of all descriptions. And I love using a audio recorder. I use Zoom recorders as an audio interface and plugging a microphone into that. With this microphone, I don't need to do that. I can plug the microphone straight into the computer or my Thunderbolt dock and it just works perfectly. So I think personally, as an office and studio microphone, it's near enough flawless for what I need. I've used it for voiceovers, I've used it for video calls, I record all my videos with it, and I'm very happy with it. So. Thank you again to Deity for sending over this microphone. I've really enjoyed using it. Do be sure to let me know what microphones you're using. Are you interested in the 
vMic D3 Pro or any of the other microphones that Deity have brought out recently. I have to say I am very interested in the vMic D4 Duo as well. For a long time, and now still at times, I really like using the Rode Video Micro purely because it's a tiny, I mean, tiny little microphone. It's a bit bigger once you've got the dead cat on top of it. You wouldn't know there's a microphone under there. But what it means is that, especially for some like me, going out in the mountains, making videos and taking photographs, it doesn't get in your way. I'm left eye dominant, but it works for whichever eye. It doesn't really protrude very much from the back of the camera, so you can still So you can still get your eye up to the piece very easily compared to one of these microphones where it might be just jabbing you in the eye. Felt like I was in NSYNC then. So yeah, I might have to pick up that microphone, have a look at it, see what it's like. But yeah, otherwise, hope you enjoyed the video. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I try and get back to everyone in those comments. And of course, if you want to see more videos like this, please do click subscribe down below and give it a like if you liked it and yeah until next one thank you very much for watching be good stay safe and i'll see you in the next one goodbye